Welcome to Techidia Daily. I'm DBC Ekekwe. A conversation today will focus on the Africa's online printing sector. You know, over the last few years, we have seen uh, an interest uh, within this sector, especially from startups across major cities in Africa, exploring opportunities, how they can provide that mechanism for people to order other uh, printed materials, printed materials across the internet. You know, this is one of the things we do expect as internet penetration continues to accelerate across African cities. Uh, many more things can be done digitally and across the web. The online printing offers opportunity. It offers the opportunity for us to improve the efficiency of the process, also improve the quality, as well as provide that pathway for us to have scale in the sector. Today, uh, most of the players are largely family-owned businesses. Some of them are very small. And in short, people don't necessarily see them as a really big business. But when you find a way to move this specific sector into the online domain, certainly good things could happen. There will still be weddings, there will still be flyers, there will still be business cards. So the online printing sector is certainly uh, a sector that we should take into consideration as we continuously uh, experience digitalization of different industrial sectors uh, into the digital realm. You know, we will still need documents. We will still print. And when you bring graphic designers in, into these constructs, you begin to see that uh, digitalization offers a lot of opportunities, not just for individuals who are participating in it, but also corporate entities that will need to have the best possible brand image they can have in the marketplace. Of course, there will be challenges because printing itself is a low margin business, it's very, very competitive, and it's extremely fragmented. But even when you have finished the printing, you still have to deal with the logistics, which is one of the biggest problems in Africa. How do you deliver the package from, from one place to the other? The challenges we see in the e-commerce is also very, very evident here. The transportation network is not there. The, the, the post office is not there. So the, <clears throat> the printing companies still have to figure out how, after they have fulfilled the order of a specific customer to deliver it from the printing house to, to the office of that customer. And that is the reason why most of these entities that are participating in this sector are usually concentrated in major cities in Africa. Unfortunately, these are not necessarily the people that will need the best support. The people that we need the back support are companies that are distributed across sub top tier cities in Africa where there may not even be printing houses. But because of logistical issues, it's going to be extremely difficult to deliver services today and still make a very decent profit. So the trajectory is going digital across the world, and that is a challenge. But however, there is something that is still happening. People are still buying printers. People are still printing. In short, Hewlett Packard just reported that their, their printing business is actually going up. So what happens here is this. Even as the world moves into the digital realm, people still realize that they still have to keep physical copies of documents. They still have to transition, not necessarily fully, into the digital frame. And that is the key thing here, that as we see cybersecurity potentially making it extremely challenging for institutions and for organizations to, to have this construct that everything has to be digitalized. People have to balance that risk. And yet, and that means that they have to have a way to keep some of their items in the physical file. Yes, um, checks may not be printed as we used to print them in the past, but that does not mean that printing doesn't have a future. So the business, as I said, is fragmented. It's largely family-owned. They have issues of quality. They also have issues of turnaround time. And 
They, learn, they don't really offer you do it yourself. The process that enables you to customize, to actually make the design the way you want it. But as we see the transition into the digital realm, we are increasingly having that opportunity that some of these digital companies can offer us a wide range of designs that we can choose. In Nigeria, we expect the market to be about $900 million. And across the African continent, we expect it to be $9 billion. And that is a very huge opportunity for anyone to participate in. So the interesting thing here is this, that this is a growth market. And we are seeing already many players who are participating in this specific market. Printivo in Nigeria is a market leader. There is also the Print Wizard, which is based in Nairobi. And there are other pockets of innovators across the African continent, like Print Sharply, Instant Print, that are increasingly figuring out a way for them to aggregate and morph together all these small fragmented printing houses, present a very clear ecosystem digitally where people can make orders for printed materials. And that pretty raised capital for EcoVC and also from other partners. So the interesting thing here is that these companies have to grow to have scale because if they don't have scale, it's going to be extremely very difficult for them to actually make profits because they have to deliver services at a, a, a better price model than the individual companies or people can actually go to the printing houses directly to seek for these services. And that means that they have to build in the cost of shipping, the logistical cost, which is also a very big factor in the whole business. Also, there is also a new part, a new player called Brancoma, uh, which is basically a marketplace where printers can come and list some of their services and paid people can go there and, uh, and, and look for opportunities to engage them based on different parameters like price, uh, proximity, to where you are doing business as well as the quality of service. So, but we do believe vividly that as broadband penetration continues to accelerate across the African uh, continent, that any company that can become a category leader is going to have the opportunity of actually making a very good business out of this. Because once you have printed with one of these digital companies for the very first time, the propensity for you to move to another one is always not there. So that means any category leader is going to have a very, very great market power over the next uh, few years. And that is why the race to the top is very critical. Uh, it's a very critical in a very promising sector that we are seeing. The, the, the most important thing here is we do not just have to see this as a digital business. We have to see it as a digital business that actually needs a lot of support in the offline sector. And that offline sector has to do with the logistics because if the logistical issues are not solved, you can place the order and yet the companies cannot deliver the orders. And that is still the reason why the, the, the innovation is not just the website, it's not just the aggregation of the printing houses but actually figuring out how to efficiently and cost efficiently, I would say, deliver the printed materials back to the customer. And that is where I expect all these players to figure out how they are going to fix and solve that problem. The e-commerce companies have been battling that problem over the last few years. But buying motorcycles, uh, having full-time drivers, why those things are very flashy, they are not necessarily going to give them the competitive advantage and cost to service their customers at a very higher level. Thank you very much for listening to Techidia Daily um, in WBC again.